to this new YouTube channel. My name is Multi Element Rubumon, but you can call me Ruru. Or if you like formalities, just use Ruru the Rubumon, please. Today, now the first thought in my head was when I started this channel was to do my first video as a playthrough of Digimon World 2. But that didn't work out because my audio recording on a different program, which would be right here, um, doesn't quite sit with me well for playthrough. But anyways, so we'll start with the math problem. Now, these particular math videos that I'm starting right now for the regular polygons, finding the areas of them, is for Ariel Cross. You should look up her YouTube channel. She is my friend who also sit next to me in class. So, shall we begin the lesson? So I'm going to use the first one on her math paper because, well, it's just simple. Disregard this, that's just there just in case I figure out how to use it within seconds. So there's our first little diagram. Let make note right now that usually with a 45-45, it's only going to be in a square dotted line and a long thing, um, a long line. So just a quick thing is this is going to be equal, this is going to equal x radical 2. Well, as for these are going to equal x. So for those who get it, all the letters are going to be the same. x, if x equals 48, then x is going to equal 48, and that's going to equal 48 radical 2. You get that. For those of you that don't, just remember, you have three apples. That does not make one of them not the same apple. That's a terrible analogy, but anyways, just remember, letters, always the same. So, for the first one, this is the number 8. Now, this is a bit advanced for those who don't know how to do this. So why don't we start with something in the basics. You remember it was x radical 2, right? Well, now you're going to take the 8 and you're going to divide it by 2. That's the wrong thing. Leave that up. I am terrible today. So, 8 divided by 2, because the radical is not there, is going to equal 4. Now, just note this now. Because the 8 doesn't have a radical 2, the 4 is now going to have a radical 2. So, now we have half of this. Now remember, the apothem, long word, just fancy for that dotted line. What it's going to do is it's going to split this right down the middle, the side. So 4 times two, 4 plus 2 is 8. So it's going to be 8 radical 2 for each side. So now we must find the perimeter. So let's introduce the equation now. To find the area, you're going to need to know what 1 half of the perimeter times the apothem is. Seems scary, doesn't it, for those who haven't quite left pre-algebra or algebra 1, take your pick. But, um, uh, it's actually quite simple. All you need to know is we already know the apothem, so we're just going to place the 4 radical 2 right here. Now, there's a cool trick with what's going to happen here. So you need the perimeter, right? So it's 8 times 8, people. Please tell me you know that. I don't. I sure as heck don't. 64. I sure am dim rotted. No, I'm not. I'm just slow when I write. Terribly slow in my math class, yet I am a star pupil. At least I'd hope so. And if my teacher were working all wrong answers correct. 
Back to the lesson. Well, so now we know the perimeter is going to be 64. We were right there. Right there. Right there. Right? Right? Right there. 64. But remember, it must always have this radical too. Now, in math, past normal maths, when you get into pre-algebra and stuff like that, you're going to have this dot. Excuse me, this terrible dot. It's more like a small ice cream cone without the cone with chocolate syrup running down it. Terrible. Or some weird dude with a biker helmet. Either way. So, we know that it's going to have to be one half of that, right? So, I forgot the four. Forget it. There we are. So, four times 64. Oh, it's just times another four, right? There we go, two, five, six. Hmm. Two, five, six. Yes, that's right. Okay. And I did it wrong in the last video and I didn't record my audio. Okie doke. So, two, five, six. So, two, five, six. Now, you're going to laugh, but I'm going to show this to you anyway to see something. Now, remember when you have two radical twos? The radicals are going to disregard, and they're just going to become times two. So you're going to multiply that by two. And what are you going to get? Anyone? Anyone? Of course not. You're watching a pre-recorded video, people. Why do you look at your screen and yell? Just kidding. I, I do that too. Five, one, two. Well now, weren't we looking for half of, half of the entire problem? Disregarded. 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 Your answer finally, people, is two, five, six. Postpone. Six. That was terrible. I'm not going to do that. 256, right there. It's all you need. Whabang. So, Ariel, you have just now learned what the heck number one equals. Well, this was easy enough, right, people? Right? So, anyways. With that said and done, I'm going to record this entire math problem and as many math things as I can possibly do for my friend Ariel Cross. Since her YouTube name is there, I shall use it as that. But for now, we shall just continue. But this is supposed to be an under 10 minute because stupid bendy cam requires money to go past 10 minutes. But bendy cam is still awesome. So. You guys have a lovely, lovely, not lovely, not Elmo Flood, but have a lovely, 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 lovely day. Okay? And enjoy it, because your really good Vermont is out. And yes, do not make fun of me. I am a girl, but this does not concern me. Just remember, I am a gaming math genius.